Today we are starting off that moment when you realize you need to charge your smart scale and the only micro USB cable you have is on your computer desk. I am back at home. It is almost bedtime for Daniel. He's upstairs doing a bath. But I wanted to show you two new technology purchases that I just made that I'm taking advantage of. The first is actually the tripod that this camera is sitting on right now. And here you can see the tripod itself. It is super cheap. This was like 30 bucks on Amazon. But it's decent quality. It's got a ball head. And so far I like the quality of it. I've been really frustrated with my little gorilla pod because it's always too low. It's, a, it's never at eye level for me when I put it on tables and I don't often put my camera in trees or on shelves or any weird places. So having a nice solid tripod is, I'm really looking forward to using this more. So the second piece of technology takes a little bit of explanation. Now I've had a bunch of beacon technology in the past, but I've never had LTE beacons. So when Estimo came out with these products, I thought, hey, I love the idea of doing digital asset tracking across the globe using a device with kind of LTE and global wireless built in, and so I bought them. Don't tell the Estimo people, because I think they, they intend these developer kits to really be for people that are building IoT platforms, which is not me, but the idea that I could, for example, slip one of these into Daniel's backpack or the diaper bag or something like that, and then know where he is and know where our assets are long term, I, I love that idea, and that, that's what I'm gonna be giving it a try for. All right, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I think you can just start your journey here. Wow, there was no unboxing whatsoever. There was no tape, nothing. It was just you open the box and there it is. Little NFC tag. Contact information for the CEO and co-founder. Very nice. And then we have two of these Estimote LTE beacons. So this is kind of a fun mechanism for finding beacons in range. You take the beacon and it says, shake it. I don't know if that's actually supposed to work or not. Terrible software frustrates me so much. Check this out. Claim. The button depresses and then let's go. But nothing happens. Am I doing anything wrong? So far I'm not having a good time with these beacons at all because they're not even showing up in the app so that I can configure and set them up. <sighs> I don't know if it's slow app or what, but I definitely have a fast enough phone. This is the Pixel 3 XL, come on. All right, so I'm gonna have to come back to these beacons on another night, because so far the experience has been a bust. Despite having two functioning beacons here, I'm unable to configure them, I'm unable to set up software on them, or get their location. I'm a big fan of Estimo beacons in general, but this product is not yet up to par with what I was expecting. For about three years, I used an Estimo beacon using the Eddystone protocol, where I would carry in my backpack a beacon at all times that had a URL corresponding to me, so like my website or a contact information. And so anyone around me that had Android would pop up a little notification like Steven's nearby or Angular's nearby. And this was a really interesting way of using IoT technology to connect to other users and con to connect to the physical world, the kind of physical space that you're occupying. But unfortunately, Google has killed that protocol, at least the notifications in Android. I'm sure the protocol still works just fine, but because it's not proactively popping up in Chrome, there's really no point to that. So I should probably dump all the beacons from my backpack and try and find new purposes. So tonight I met with a life coach and it was the weirdest experience of my entire life. About 20 minutes in, he literally said we have to end the session because he couldn't help me, which is so bizarre. Am I too successful for him? Am I too weird and unsuccessful? I Can he not help me? That's like the weirdest thing for, ever for a life coach to do, right? And like now I'm questioning my whole life. What did he do? This is like terrible.